Hey guys, so we now know who the Zenkai is going to be for tomorrow's weekly reset. Looks like it is going to be Legends Limited Half Corrupted Fusion Zamasu. Let's uh, just go ahead and check out the teaser slash reveal thing here. It's going to be the same thing as Broly's, right? <laughs> the slow pan up for his art that we already know <laughs> what it is, right? A cowering god who appeases uh, evil. I can't even, I couldn't read it in time. I'm going to be honest with you guys. He still has one of my favorite LF animations, I think. It's just so good, and it's completely original, too. There's his art. Nice. What does he say? A cowering god who appeases evil can never prevail. Yeah, actually, like, I, I really am a huge fan of his LF animation. Um, it's a completely Legends original animation, too, because he never really does this sequence in the series, right? I mean, he he does do the sword thing, right? This is sort of like a, a technique borrowed from the Goku Black half of this character. Um, he does the sword thing at the end, like the very end against Sword of Hope Trunks, but he doesn't do that combo or anything like that. So this is essentially a Legends original animation. It does look really good still. Uh, so Fusions of Masu, part uh, two hint, potentially? I don't know, we're still pretty early on here. Uh, so this guy's coming out tomorrow on Wednesday the 5th. Uh, I don't expect that we're going to be getting any Part 2 uh, stuff or releases until the 19th. The 19th is when I think we will get the Part 2 character, which means we're going to be getting a reveal for that character on Tuesday the 18th. Are we really going to see this guy as like a hint towards what we're going to be getting for Part 2 two weeks in advance? I don't know. I think it's possible this guy could be a hint towards part two, but I also think it's possible he's just, I guess, like sort of a throw in Zenkai here. Um, so it could be future, could not be future. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyway, two weeks in a row, basically, of getting uh, LF Zenkai characters. Definitely the sixth anniversary is off to a very, very powerful start here. Um, also, the fact that we're getting two powerful opponent Zenkai Awakenings is really good as well. Let's quickly take a look and see what we have here for Zamasu. I also want to pull up. Uh, his unique equip because he does have a unique equipment. Actually, I think we'll probably just take a look at that first if I could scroll through this and find it. Fusion Zamasu is this right here. All right, so here's his equipment. 35% to base offenses, slot one. Slot two, we have 15% health and 45% of base defenses. Slot three, he's got 20% inflicted damage and then restores on health by 20% if it's 50% or below after enemy attack is over. Uh, and then restores health by 20% of its 30% or below after attacks. Yeah, I, this, I remember when this released. This... When did this come out? I... I don't exactly remember the exact... I, I think, was it... Was it Legends Fest 2022 when this came out? It was some sometime around then is when this came out. And this is a bit disappointing. I, well, it was a bit disappointing when it released because this is just not at all what this character wanted to do, right? The healing is nice, of course. I mean, we'll, we'll take the healing on this, but the problem that we all had with this equipment when it released was this character always has been a glass cannon. And we'll take a look at his kit in a second and go through what he does, but even the day he came out, third anniversary part one, he was a crazy strong character, but he couldn't tank. He, he, he just couldn't. And that's the way it's been forever. And so when they attempt to give him, and this 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 just doesn't uh, this doesn't just go for Zamasu, it goes for every character. When they try and like give these characters ways to cover their weaknesses through equipment like this, it never works out. What they should always try and do with these equipment is to augment the areas of the character that they're already good at, right? So for a character that's a glass cannon, you just want to give them more damage. You want to give them more ways to start combos. You want to give them more offensive potential via the equipment, whereas this is just completely the opposite of what the character's trying to accomplish. Uh, obviously, it's good that he has this because he's going to already get like a decent amount of stats from this. Like, Look how much defensive stats he's getting here. 45%, 15%, and then some decent base offenses, 20% damage. Like, this is not bad. It's good that he has this. But I feel like um, this guy got this equipment and then like literally <laughs> no one used him. This might be one of the least impactful unique equipments for an LF character ever, honestly. 
All right, so let's take a look at what he's doing here, uh, and I'll try and give some thoughts on where I think they could maybe improve this character here. So main ability, uh, ultimate arts card, 20% health and 40 key. Uh, he does get uh, endurance nullification for 30 counts on main ability. This is a very strong effect. He doesn't get this on uh, ultimate usage, right? He doesn't have endurance nullification on the actual ultimate card itself. Uh, he's gaining the effect through the main ability, which I think is actually probably just better, uh, right? Because it means you can pop the main ability and you can use your ultimate and you're still going to have the effect up for 30 counts, right? You can also pop the main ability and rising rush if you don't think your ultimate's going to kill the opponent or like there's a million ways you can take advantage of this effect uh, that you wouldn't be able to if it had just been attached to the ultimate instead of the main ability. So this is a really strong effect here. 40% ultimate damage for 30 counts. I never really understood why he had this because what are you going to use the main ability and then like not switch for 30 counts? Like it's very weird. I, I, this makes no, almost no sense to me why he has this. Um, I, I don't really see them giving him much on this. Maybe they just give him like 50 key instead of 40 on this. Maybe 25% health instead of 20%. I don't, I don't really see them changing this that much. It's already pretty good, this main ability. All right, first unique ability. Uh, applies the following effect. Self in battle starts 40, or sorry, 80% 40, damage inflicted. Uh, reduced damage received by 30%. Following effects occur when this character is defeated. 30% damage inflicted by allies. Uh, all enemies get minus one card draw speed and minus 70% to health restoration for 30 counts. Uh, so yes, he does also have death buffs, which kind of factors into what I was just talking about with this character being a glass cannon, right? They want you to do as much damage as possible with this character and then sack him off, sacrifice him, which goes against the premise of this. So again, this was one of the worst design unique equipments ever. Uh, but yeah, so obviously what they're going to do here is they're going to make this uncancelable. I mean, that's just duh, right? Uh, this 30% damage by allies. Uh, these are actually really, really good debuffs. All enemies with minus one card draw speed. Like, that's actually really strong for 30 counts. That's not bad. Um, they're clearly going to increase this. Let me actually pull up. I'm not going to pull Broly up because Broly's damage reduction is a bit situational. He has to pop the green card. What? Um, let me go to Zenkai LF. Who was like a recent LF Zenkai? Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Who else? Recent LF Zenkai. I mean, I haven't really gotten too many recently, I guess. Full Power Frieza and Bardock. We'll pull up Bardock too, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Again, we could pull up Broly, but I'm not going to. All right, let's take a look at Bardock. Well, how much damage reduction does Bardock have just built in? 35% and then... Where? He has other damage reduction, right? Is that it? He only has 35% damage reduction? Really? Uh, blast arts hit. No. Oh, here it is. But it's conditional. Okay. 35% up here, plus conditional 25% down here. Um, and then we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who has 50%. That's the first time. No, I, I didn't click the Zenkai button. There it is. Uh, 30% and then 50%. Yeah, so this is this is a little misleading because a lot of players would look at this and say, oh, he has 30% here and then he has 50% here. So he has 80% damage reduction. That's not the way it works. It's 30% and then it's multiplicative because this is beginning of the fight, right? Start of battle. He's getting 30% here. Uh, then he's getting 50% when he enters the battlefield. This is actually multiplicative, not additive to this. So it's, it's, it's I, I was going to say a little bit worse than what than 80, but it's, it's actually significantly worse than 80. Um, so this Zamasu being at 30 here, I could probably see them giving him like 15% somewhere in his kit besides like in, like in like in his third or fourth unique ability they may they maybe give him like 15 or 20% more damage reduction but it's not going to be added up to this that's what i could see we'll see we'll see what they do again this is not a character that we're really 
you know, intently looking for in terms of more survivability. It's going to be just more damage oriented. So they're probably going to end up buffing his da uh, reduced damage received somewhere. Uh, this is going to become non cancelable and maybe this becomes like 90% damage. I mean, 80, to be honest, 80% is like actually still pretty good as just one of his unique abilities for a character that came out three years ago. Second unique ability, Merciless Judgment, knocks any backs to long range of cover change formed against their strike arts, so his cover change against strikes. 15% damage inflicted every time this character uses a strike or a blast arts card up to 60%. Yeah, so that is going to surely become uncancelable when he Zenkai's. So he's going to be 80, that's going to be up to 60%. Also restores health by 5% of bone health to 70% less, so he's healing. Uh, I think a very, very easy thing they could do here is simply remove this condition. Uh, just, just restores health by 5% every time he uses a Striker or a Blast Arts card. There is no reason for him to be conditioned on this under 70% at this point. Obviously, during the third anniversary, this is a very strong ability, actually, uh, during the third anniversary. Um, but at this point, there's no need for this to exist, so I think just remove this condition. Falling effects occur according to the enemy's actions while this character's in the battlefield. When an enemy lands a Striker or a Blast Arts hit, reduce enemy key by 5 and reduce own damage received. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. He has this. Hmm. So you know what they might do, actually? I think they keep... I think they keep this the way it is. I don't think, I don't think they touch this. I think they make this 35 or 40%. Is how they do it. Make this 35 or 40%. And I think that's probably good enough. Getting damage reduction for uh, by 5% for 5 counts. Alternatively... They could make this 10 counts because it's going to stack. I actually would just prefer if this was 40% and they keep this the same than doing that, but it's an option. When enemy character switches, restores on vanish engage by 50%, activates eight times. They should just remove this. The, like if you're going to if you're going to make a condition that activates eight times and then it stops activating, just don't have a limit to it. Like I don't know. Really, what is, is it is it going to be overpowered if it activates the ninth time like a, <laughs> i don't think so i think they just removed the limit of eight times on this uh this is pretty good this is basically the same thing that broly has uh we can pull him up i guess right this guy just zenkai it's pretty much the same th same thing this, that this guy has right let me see if i can find it um here we go Lots of falling effects itself on enemies, which is character of the character in the battlefield. 50% damage. Uh, he got this extra 20%. This is from uh, his Zenkai. I don't think he had this prior to the Zenkai. Uh, Broly's is five times. Zamasu's is eight times. But again, I mean, this is just... Just get, just get rid of this. Uh, when an enemy is defeated, it destroys all of your enemy's cards. This was a really strong effect when this guy released. So what you would do is you would prioritize Zamasu to rush the opponent because you knew it was going to destroy their hand, and then you could just immediately follow up after you rush with like a tackle or something and make them vanish. Um, this is probably still a good effect, but it's not going to be as good as it was when he first came out. So honestly, looking through the unique abilities, there aren't really a ton of things that I would say, oh, he definitely needs this or he definitely needs that. Uh, something that he for sure needs is uh, card draw speed. He has zero ways to draw cards at all through his <laughs> unique abilities, and he needs cover and all. I mean, those are just the, the the bread and butter mechanics that all damage dealing characters have in this day and age, right? This is a three year old character. He did not have card draw speed, and he did not have uh, cover nullification because cover nullification existed, but it wasn't really prevalent on many units. Um, I would say. He definitely okay. So you know, you know what he's probably gonna get. Actually, they're probably just gonna slap card draw speed on this first unique ability. Broly has that, doesn't he? No, he doesn't actually. Because Broly, yeah, Broly. That's another thing about Broly. Is he gets conditional card draw speed when the opponent switches, and then he's getting card draw speed from the green. But Zamasu doesn't have that anywhere. Like Zamasu is not getting card draw speed anywhere in his kit. At, 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 like anywhere his green card doesn't give him that his, his blue card doesn't give him that like nothing gives him card draw speed so i think this is a character they can just slap level one card draw speed to his first unique ability um and then for cover nullification what i could see them doing is giving it to his green card let's take a look at these first um he has a strike card that restores key normal strike card by the way his z ability is 35 percent to god key powerful opponent or future strike attack and defense um, I would say I would prefer if he buffed, uh, red god key 
with the Zenkai ability. And the reason why I say that is because there are actually currently zero red god key Zenkai buffers. If we take a look at... Let's see if I can get to the god. Where's god? There it is. This is the only red god key character that has a Zenkai in the entire game. And this guy, Zenkai buffs red powerful opponent. So I would like to see Zamasu buff red god key. Typically what they do for uh, LF Zenkai characters is they tend to be a little bit more generous with like the tag and Zenkai, the, the tag Z ability and Zenkai combinations that they go with for them. Uh, and because god key, like powerful opponent is a really expansive team, but god key is another really expansive team. And because powerful opponent already does have a red buffer, in terms of Zenkai ability here. I think I would like to see God Key, I think. This future future has one with Trunks and Mai, right? Trunks and Mai do red future. Trunks and Mai buff red future. That's it, huh? Because this guy's hybrids. This guy's androids, powerful opponent, regen, and hybrids. But yeah, we do have Trunks and Mai who do buff red future. That does have overlap with their Z ability, so I think if I was going to pick, I'd pick God Key, but we'll see. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I, like, any of these three are going to be really strong uh, Zenkai abilities. I would pick God Key, though. Um, now, these are interesting effects on here uh, for both the Strike and the Blast. I don't think we've ever seen this return. Like, ever. Battle bonus versus Saiyans. Applies attribute upgrade 10% to damage inflicted against tag Saiyan to sell for 10 counts. So he is just stacking damage versus Saiyans when using strikes and blasts. That's going to stack with this. Right? He's getting the uh, the unique ability damage inflicted every time he uses strike or a blast. And then he's getting separate stacks specifically versus Saiyans with his strikes and blasts here. Um, again, they need to make this uncancelable. Like this is just, they got to do it. Um, this is already uncancelable, cannot be cancelled. So. Uh, this is, I think this is actually a really powerful, like 10 counts, like you're, assuming they give this guy cover, cover nullification somewhere and card draw speed somewhere, I think this is actually going to be pretty, pretty impactful. So I, I do, I do like this. Uh, his green card, this is where I think they're probably going to give him cover null. If I was them, I would literally just copy and paste. Um, let me get out of here. I would just copy and paste this guy's green card cover nullification, just 10 counts of this. Uh, it's really, really strong. Here, just copy and paste this. Just copy and paste this effect onto Zamasu. So right now it's gonna give 40 key, inflicts all enemies with three, oh actually no, inflicts all enemies, I forgot it even did that. Inflicts all enemies with three sub counts. Huh. Nullify his own unfavorable element when package for three counts. Yeah, this is a crazy green, man. I, I don't think they really need to give him much on this. I think they could. I think what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to make this 50, and they're probably going to give him damage on this. Actually, like like 20% damage inflicted for 10 counts or something when you use this. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind about this is it is a long animation. Basically, every AOE green in the game is a long animation, besides for Ultra Gohan, which is I, 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 I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Um, but because this already has three sub counts on this. Maybe they won't give him cover null on the green card. In which case, they would need to give it to him in his unique abilities somewhere. So I think baseline card draw speed here. Maybe they could give him card draw speed on the green if they really want to make this thing insane. And they would need to give him some kind of conditional special cover change nullification in his unique ability somewhere, I would say. Maybe. What if they just gave him the Goku and Bardock effect? At least I could pull them up real quick. These are all Zenkai units. Um, the Goku and Bardock effect is every second arts card that you land, you get cover nullification for like, what is it, like five counts, 10 counts? Yeah, here it is. Applies the falling effects to self according to the number of times this character's strike or blast have hit. I think that would be fair. Cover all for five counts when you land like the second striker blast card every time that he switched in. The reason why this is so insane on Goku and Bardock is because you can do this every single time they tag out to the other side. That's why this is crazy. I don't think it would be as crazy on just like a normal character, um, but I think it would. I think it would be sufficient. 
for this character to have that. Like it would probably it would probably be enough for him. So that's what I think I would do. I would give them the Goku. I would give Zamasu the Goku and Bardock cover change nullification mechanic where you have to land two, uh, well, any combination of two strike or blast cards, and then you get five counts of that. Uh, and then I'd give him card draw speed baseline. And um, what is this blue card again? Massive, 20%, two special move damage. And then, the, oh yeah, he draws a, a, a green card on hit. Yeah, this is, this doesn't really need anything. I would maybe say maybe make this 30%. That's it. I mean, you don't need. I mean, what are they going to make this three times? I don't think so. I think they're going to leave this as it is. This is already really strong. Guaranteed draw a green card when you hit with this. I don't think this needs to be changed. Maybe if they're going to change it, make it 30% here. Uh, then we have the ultimate uh, Supreme Damage, which is very good. Uh, Azure upgrade minus 50% enemy sustained damage cut effects itself for three counts. And then he has. Uh, reduce key by a hundred when he hits the enemy with it, and they inflict or he inflicts no switching for five counts. Uh, clearly, what they're going to add to this is blast armor. Doesn't have blast armor right now. Um, I don't really think they need to add anything else to this besides just blast armor. This is already pretty good. Fifty percent is good, uh, and then they're essentially worth like. So if you kill an enemy with this, right? If you kill an enemy with the ultimate, Zamasu is reducing key by a hundred. Inflicting no switching for five counts and don't forget he's destroying their entire hand So what you would used to do is you would use to ultimate someone You would kill somebody with this and then you would simply just tackle and rush because <laughs> they'd have no cards They'd be locked in and they'd have no uh, no key <laughs> So that was what people used to do with this character. So I mean he has the makings of a very very powerful Zenkai I would say uh, we'll have to wait and see what they do specifically for him. Again, I, I mentioned the things that he would need here. Make a lot of these things uncancelable, especially this. Uh, so this here would need to be uncancelable. Make the uh, death buffs uncancelable. Uh, not really much that needs to be tweaked with the main ability. Uh, give him card draw speed here. Give him conditional cover nullification. I would say, obviously, the increased stats are going to help. Give him the uh, god key Zenkai ability. And uh, maybe give this some damage buffs when you hit with the with the green card. This maybe just buff this a little bit. Other than that, I think he'll be pretty good. I don't really think they're gonna need to go to town with this character. The only disappointing thing with him is this equipment is not the greatest, but it's still it's still a decent amount of stats he's getting from it. So we will see. Let me know what you think about LF merge or half corrupted fusion Zamasu getting his Zenkai tomorrow. Uh, when they post his details, I will be doing a breakdown video, and then we will be jumping into the showcase uh, during reset. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all in the next one.